harassment. There's usually a lot of harassment going on. And if you act trying to protect yourself or your children, then the other party might go and charge you for harassment. I have a little document that um, uh, where is it now? But um, I can't remember what did I call it. Uh, uh, but the, uh, the uh, can somebody help me with the document about uh, 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 where uh, the uh, uh, target parent uh, is uh, 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 now criminally charged? Huh? Want to help me. I think it might be that one, yeah. Yeah, I think it might be that one. Uh, but that is uh, also after harassment and so. Debar demands for payment of debt causing alarm, etc. Uh, yeah, I think it's worth it. Yeah, I've got I've got it here somewhere. But uh, you can uh, have a look at all these uh, pieces of paper. There's many more that we will try and get you uh, get for you uh, links to so that you can have a look at them. Uh, demands for payment. Usually, you are nailed with maintenance. And then they come with more accounts and more accounts. And in many cases, she will ask you for your maintenance. And then when they, she need a little bit of money, she say, hand over. And if you can't hand over, she go and call him and say, panel beat him a little bit. And then that is also an offense of demands for payments of debt causing alarm, etc. Endangerment. The child is endangered by being alienated. We'll come back to that later. You are endangered by the actions of the uh, alienating party against you. That is also offense. False imprisonment. In many cases, your children are false imprisoned. They are not allowed to go outside the gate. They're not allowed to go outside the door. If I see you going out of the, uh, this house to go and see your mother, I will beat the hell out of you. Many of your children heard those words. That's false imprisonment. It's also, naturally, as we'll see later, uh, uh, cruelty to children. Abduction of a child by a parent. Now, luckily, this is one of the offences that is usually accepted and investigated and prosecuted, where a parent go and take the child outside the country. Move with the child out of the country and not come back. Usually I'm going on holiday, but then they never come back. But now we have a problem with that one. If I go and I take your daughter to France and they find me there, Usually I will be arrested and uh, escorted back to Ireland to stand trial. But if I am a citizen of Slovakia or one of these 
Eastern European countries, there's going to be big problems. Poland, Slovakia. Uh, Slovakia is the worst. They won't arrest me. You won't see your child ever again. Abduction by another person. S usually, uh, uh, several uh, in several cases that I know of, the child was actually abducted and taken out of jurisdiction by somebody completely unknown to the pair, uh, to, uh, the target parent. And then, naturally, it wasn't me. And a week later, a month later, I go and join my child somewhere else. Okay, I uh, naturally I mentioned to you about harm earlier. If a certificate is issued by a medical practitioner that you are harmed, that is evidence of harm. Now, the next one, 1998, Protection of Persons Reporting Child Abuse. To protect the person reporting child abuse, this act was uh, uh, drafted. But there's one very important one, and that is Section 5. The moment that me as alienating party tonight, <laughs> I'm alienating you all tonight. The moment I go and say, you will not see your child, I am reporting you to the guards and to Tuzla for sexual abuse. The moment I go and report to the guards or Tuzla or even to this re uh, report writer that you sexually abused your child, I'm guilty of a f an offence. And I can be prosecuted now. Oh, he can't see his child because he slapped her. He can't see his child because I saw him personally pulling ugly faces as a child and the child making the child scared. He is abusing the child. That is an offence and it can be prosecuted. I am now coming to the most important enactment that we have to look at. And that is the enactment of torture. The Criminal Justice United Nations Convention Against Torture Act of 2000. I wrote an essay on it. The essay was originally regarding torture committed by Tuzla. But I have to edit that very urgently after the new case law of the European Court of Human Rights. Now, I do suggest that you, I'm not, uh, there won't, uh, won't be time tonight to go and read it. Download the document, torture, uh, uh, what did I call it? Uh, uh, is Ireland guilty of allowing torture? It is important that you understand. It is uh, I'm not going to go in deeper there. But I must now highlight something very interesting. Remember I'm the alienating party tonight. I caused him to suffer serious psychological pain. Am I guilty of torture? No. Torture can only be committed 
by me if I am a state official or if I'm authorized by a state official to make him suffer. But I am guilty of the common law offense of inhumane and degrading treatment. And that is apparently not recognized in Ireland. What can he do? Up till our court hearing, nothing. Sorry, mate. Go and commit suicide. That's all you can do. Now, it changed. It changed. Number one, it's an offense in another way. Remember, after I started giving him a hard time, he went to the member of Ongara Shakona and he said, that old man is doing this to me and that to me and blah, 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 blah. That member of Angara Shakona should have investigated, identified the offences I am committing against him and pros initiate prosecution against me. But what does that member say? Sorry, civil matter, go and see your solicitor. According to the new case law in the European Court of Human Rights, that state official is now condoning the action that I am doing against him. So, now it is not serious harm anymore, but I am committing torture on him because you gave permission. You as a state official gave permission. So suddenly, it is not harassment, it's not assault, it's not causing serious harm. It's not cruelty to children because of the children involved. It is torture because he, as a state official, condoned it. So now you're not going to charge me with the other offences anymore. You're going to charge me under the Criminal Justice Act for torture because I'm doing it with the permission of a state official. I'm stopping there for a second.